Hey everyone, today we are diving into a fantastic tutorial on creating a stunning stress test effect in Photoshop. So let's jump right in. We'll start with the image. Our first task is to remove the image from the background. I'm using the quick selection tool for this, but you could also use sites like removebackground.com. Just drop your image there and it will automatically remove your background from the image, saving you a lot of time. With the background successfully removed, let's add a solid background to basically separate the image from the background. Now it's time for the most important part of the video, adding the text. For this tutorial, I'm using the font King Things Spike Less. I'll put it linked down in the description, so if you wanna check it, you could get it for absolutely free. I'm writing the word Queen with the first and last letter capitalized for a typographic effect. Now let's bring it back to our artboard. Here I'll create some space for our text. For this I'll use a crop tool to expand the size. After that change the text color. And then right click on the text layer to convert the text into a shape. With this done, when you select the pen tool, you could see the key points automatically generated. Now this is the crucial for getting the best result for this effect. Use the grid to mark the portion you want to stretch. Then using the direct selection tool, select only the bottom key points of the text. Hold the shift key, then click and drag the cursor downwards. Now that the stress text is applied, let's complete our design by adding a phrase not your in a minimal font which will complete the phrase not your queen. To give our design a more polished look, I'll add some shapes and badges. First, I'll use a restricted batch, double click on the layer to go to the color overlay to change its color. Next, I'll add a star icon and copy the layer style from the restricted batch layer to apply the same color. And there you have an amazing stress text effect applied. Now we could do one more interesting thing to make a design more unique. Hide the layer of our model, then press Ctrl Shift Alt E to merge the design into a single layer, then create a gradient map layer. Here I load my custom gradient map pack and you will see you can create different versions of a same design with just a click. By the way if you want this gradient map pack for absolutely free watch this video link will be down in the description. And that's it for today guys help me reach 1k subscribers so make sure to subscribe the channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial stay tuned.